Hello everyone, I am Scutlist, and welcome back to this playthrough of Warriors Orochi 4. This episode, we'll be taking our first step into Chapter 5 as we do Odin, King of Asgard. I'm willing to bet that this is also the final chapter. With Zeus seemingly killed and Odin making his first appearance in front of the heroes, I wager we're moving into the final act. But anyway, let's get started. まさに ゼウスとの死闘で力を使い果たした連合軍にもはや Okay, then it's an escape point battle. Athena is with us. Victory conditions Nua and Athena reach the escape point. Uh, I guess that makes sense. I imagine she wouldn't have been entirely pleased with what Ares did in the last battle. She's on our side now. Or at least, she's running away just like us. I'm not sure if she's strictly on our side right now. <laughs> Anyway, I imagine it's going to be mostly the Asgardian forces we, we face, fa face for the rest of this game, and the demon forces as well. I mean, Ares is still in play, they will probably be facing Olympian armies. Anyway, I, I think in last episode I was talking a bit about uh, que qu questionable damage outputs. After some thoughts, I think it may actually have to do with... Uh, Tier 3 weapons are not cu cu cutting it anymore, so hopefully the game will just start allowing us to unlock Tier 4 pretty soon. Anyway, Odin is actually here now, so at least he's not mysterious conspiracy guy anymore. His true desires lie beyond these events. I wonder if they're going to try to give Loki some hidden noble goal. Oh, Griffin, get behind it. The, the projectiles have some semi-good homing, but they cannot hit you if you get behind the Griffin. Also, I noticed that the Griffins seem to have the worst AI of the monster enemies. They just stop like this. Conversely, my horse just won't won't stop moving. Anyway, let's get our tier of the gods. Uh, 
Uh, two bulky Cyclopses seems as good a time as any for Unity Magic. I didn't damage them very much at all. Oh no, wait, it didn't damage that one very much at all. The one in the front was destroyed. What the heck was she doing in the unique magic? Oh wait, was she feeding it? It was getting bigger somehow. Yeah, I I grinded up Nene a bit, but I haven't actually used her unique magic yet. Nope, oh, block. You can block these things. It takes care of all current objectives, so let's move forward to some of the red enemy officer glitch. I think in that battle with Zuosa where we where we first had the horrors explained to us, he mentioned there may be more types of horrors, but up to this point, it's just Cyclopses, Griffins, and Wraith. And I guess, um, Chaos Origins, though I wouldn't really count them as monster enemies. Just a fairly weak gimmick. Uh, looking at the map, I think I'm supposed to be stopping those enemies from getting to that position. Which means I should be able to stop them all together right here. This might be a fine time to rage. Oh, it's the fire rage. Uh, that complicates things a bit. They all Horrors only flinch to magic most of the time. Uh, yeah, she's she's giving it like rice cakes. No, it's still alive. This one is just about to get to its destination. That's the second one down. Oh, and here's the commander. I imagine I could have just taken him out and the fire race would have just vanished. In fact, I think the game actually said that outright. Oh well, I don't mind doing things the hard way. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that charge magic. Oh, well, they're on fire anyway. Oh, 
Okay, the escape point is a... Uh, okay. Actually, that could be very annoying. It looks like we have to do some back-and-forth babysitting because one of them wants to escape at the top right and the other one wants to escape at the bottom right. I forgot for a second, Samurai Warriors characters don't have aerial musos. But so long as no ambushes show up, this really shouldn't be too much of a problem. Why did I have to say that? Okay, that's what I was trying to get my hit count up for. Uh, oh no, no! Oh, I lost it. You are not appreciated, Mr. Odd. What the? Okay. That was weird. Uh, the Chaos Origin moved a bit away. This is going to delay the Chair of the Gods a little, but I need Odd gone immediately. Yeah, it actually took me a while to figure that out. If you get hit, your hit co your hit counter will uh, immediately start flickering. Okay, I'm going to need to go back to help whichever one that was. I think it's Athena? Defeat Oat? We can fight Odin right now? I want to try that out. So is the fire attack purely an aesthetic thing because my HP is not draining? Uh, Benkai could be a bit more annoying, he's a power officer. But so long as I can keep him stun locked. Yeah. 
You know, when we were first introduced to the magic system, it seemed to me like, uh... It seemed pointless to use the meter for Muso attacks, but at this point, I'm seeing more and more of it, more and more times where I really want to Muso. Anyway, uh, to prevent excessive backtracking, I should go for the enemy blips on this side first. Uh, charging this side of the map just brings back memories of hypothetical Chirby from DW8. That was such a fun battle. One of my favorites of the DW8 era. Actually, speaking of DW8, it kind of amazes me how much, uh... How much use they've been able to get out of those ass... Out of the assets from from that time. I really thought Warriors All-Stars would be the last I would see of Dynasty Warriors 8 designs. Yes, yeah, Odin is here. Okay, our first fight with who I assume is the main villain of the game. They may, they may still try to find some way to uh, make make Orochi the actual final boss, though. Anyway, it looks like he has basically the same gimmick Zeus had. Orochi, um, honestly, we're so close to the end of the battle, I think I'll just ignore him. I assume it's both Loki and Ares up here, since there's two enemy officer blips. Oh, uh, there's also a Chaos Origin up there. Okay, where's the Chaos Origin? Time to rage, and we'll see if we can take them both out with this. Guess not. Well, honestly, we barely damaged Ares, but Loki's taken a lot of punishment. Oh, I see. Ares has that buff red aura. Okay, take out Loki, then just stun lock Ares to death. Still, this could take a while. And Orochi X is getting closer to us, but... You see, he's... I think he's trying to go for, a uh, Hideyoshi, who is, a, Who is a defeat condition, but... I'm not worried. Still, all this time, and we only have Ares down to a little below half health. I 
I saw that Chaos Origin over there. Please tell me it's stationary. That is one annoyance I do not need right now. And then again, I have over 300 hits. Maintain the hits. And a new rage would actually be very useful right now. Ah, uh, I tried to use unique magic without having a full magic meter. I keep doing that with magic. It's like I think it's a... Uh, Still the special trigger from Orochi 3, despite how long I've already been playing this game. Okay, Orochi X has reached Hideyoshi, but Ares is just about dead. I think there was a battle objective for, uh... Defeating Orochi X? I didn't get a very... I didn't look very closely at the battle objectives. But if it is, well, I'll just see that on a replay. Oh, he's in assistance mode already. Wait a minute. Hold on, whoever is still here, escape. Oh wait, I have to help Hideyoshi. Okay, regenerate your health. Oh, he's actually honestly not that bad. Whether or not it's, uh, defeat Orochi X or just hold him off where he, he or she escapes, let's get going. No, oh, whoa, whoa! Do not underestimate Orochi X's attack power. Still, his health is draining a lot more fast than Ares's was. Oh, uh, ahem. Now the battle is over. Uh, Hideyoshi got close enough to the escape point. And considering Jung Ha's and Nene's health, I'm a bit worried about maybe Orchi X might have killed me. すべての世を滑るとか言うとったが、奴は一体どうするつもりなんじゃ。それを探りつつ対抗する手段を考える。難しいですが、力を尽くすしかないでしょう。かつては白は愚痴や幼女のもたらした絶望的な状況から這い上
お前たちを巻き込んだ責任をしばらくは共にやろう。責任感が強いのはいいが融通が利かんなまあいいお前の力頼みにさせてもらうぞエルアム It seems Athena joined us but we don't have her available yet hopefully this won't be another Perseus situation And based on how well intentioned her dialogue there, her her dialogue there was, she was only that. Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah. お前たち忍びは偵察を得意とするそうだなお仕事でやんすねなんなりとを申しつけよう実は味方との連絡が途絶えたのだ連霊をやっても戻ってこないすまぬが様子を見てきてくれないかお安いご用で一っ走り行ってきやすでキョイ炎章さん一つ提案があるんですがね現在お味方に比べて敵の方が強大ですだから先に手を打っておきませんかなるほどこの私の意向を盾に味方を増やそうというのだなまそんなところです炎章さんの意向で領地を奪って敵の威勢を削いでやりましょうなるほど悪くない策よ総大将は縁本書が務める名族にふさわしい立派な戦を見せてやろう乗りやすいお人だま今回ばかりは助かりますが OK what I was saying earlier uh It seems, it seems uh, Athena was only antagonistic uh, because she was a little too loyal to her father. She seems to be on our side now, even if she's not available as a playable character just yet. Anyway, to my surprise, we can't continue on with Chapter 5 because we have two new side stories here. We have Dispelling the Sorcery and... I always get confused as to how that's pronounced. Fim Fatali? Anyway, anyway, we... That will about wrap things up for this episode. Next time we will be looking at... The first one that, that unlocked was Dispelling the Sorcery, so let's go with that one. Next time we will be looking at Dispelling the Sorcery. So until then, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.